you guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves. Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. Let's keep pushing on then. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. We may want to quiet down a little. Do you know that? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Ah, yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. What are you all doing here? Are you friends? I should say, what do we look like? <laughs> I don't have the guts for that. I don't think I do. I wanted some tea. Hmm, is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? We were just discussing where we should go. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. We'll be careful. Her acting skills are the worst. <laughs> Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? It'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. I guess you're right. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well, I pressed him for answers. But he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw on such a place anymore. Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine arts scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Wait, what? You know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you wanted. You moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, you should wait and see how this case plays out. And it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. All right, guess it's just more prep till then. Yusuke Kitagawa. Yusuke Kitagawa. Yusuke Kitagawa. Back to the future, back to the future, back to the future to find our next target. So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? <clears throat> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation.
So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> Fine. There's still much more that I want to hear. Like, why would I? It was lady? around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man, Junya Kaneshiro. Junya He doesn't Kaneshiro. compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Chat, the answer to that question is always going to be magic. Keep that in mind. Magic's the answer to all questions. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Matarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation must be approached with the utmost seriousness. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of Says mind. Says the guy who tried to rape a girl. Just say it. There are these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... <sighs> How is he not suspended for wearing... Uh, the not, not wearing a uniform properly? How are things in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? I have nothing to report yet. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. <sighs> you knew, didn't you? About Mr. Kamoshida sexually harassing students. Sir! What will come of you asking that? This investigation is for a just cause, correct? I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. Is it now? So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Matarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komashida's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. Because I want to cover this crap up quickly, and I can't do that if you don't find information for me. Did you see Matarame's press conference? You mean that guy who was all like, How could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Oh. I'm at the road. Did you a picture you of it know, on the, the board? Heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah. How's it going? Ooh, How's I like her new outfit. Target? I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? Huh? 
Oh, crap, the social studies trip. Oh, I just want to ditch it. You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? Quit bickering and go. Hmm. <laughs> then let's all choose the TV station. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. Oh well, not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. He just wants to see the actresses. All right, actresses. I'm gonna head back. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. That guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens. Proficiency was high enough to dodge some chalk now. I guess New Game Plus is when I'm allowed to dodge chalk. Uh, hey, I like her outfit too. The little a yellow sweater. Surprise. Are you this a yellow parka? It's I'm not really certain. pouring down, isn't it? I thought something like this would happen. So I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. <coughs> of course, this isn't something any ordinary cat would do. And just in case you've forgotten again, I'm a human, not a cat. I love taking every possible moment I could think of to call him a cat. Oh, see you around. Actually, I forgot my umbrella. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. Care to walk together? Huh? But how are... Oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? That'd be wonderful. Thank you so much. And I'll even get wet. At least part of myself wet. Thanks again for letting me join you. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Is it for gymnastics? Yeah, that's right. Two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of summer, and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. Cool, cool. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. I'll cheer you on. I'd be invincible if I had you cheering me on, senpai. <laughs> Oh, we're already at the station. Dang, that was quick. I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some... Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school and a boyfriend to escort her around? Miss Special Snowflake sure is living on Easy Street. Miss Special Snowflake? Wow, I want to go and choke them all. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you're right. The same thing happens in class, too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. The school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming Ms. competitions, Special Snowflake. too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. But I just don't like getting special treatment. I can feel I feel you on that. Oh, excuse me, my father's calling. If anything, it makes it worse Hello, because you Dad? get singled out and people start what was that? looking at uh, you. Sorry, even my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. A bit overprotective, don't you think? I care about you a lot. Yes, I definitely agree. My well, father is dead. Practice, I think. Oh no, so I think I'm not allowed to live with my parents. Thanks so much for today. Excuse me. She did a full circle. Hey, it's on. Sounds like the principal's trying to get info on the students. Why do you think he's doing that? It's probably because of Mr. Kamashita, right? Considering what happened with Suzuki-san. Huh? 
I heard, Principal Kobayakawa knew about the sexual harassment too, and just turned a blind eye to it. I bet he wants to snuff out any rumors now. Even the volleyball team was told to keep quiet. That's the worst! So that's what he's using Nijima-senpai for? <sighs> oh yeah, rumor has it she knew as well. Isn't that horrible? She looks so noble about it too. But she didn't know. Nijima-senpai knew? <laughs> What is the meaning of this, Principal Kobayakawa? Why did you post that notice? It was all for your sake. I thought the more information you had, the easier your investigation would become. And? Did any information arise about the case I asked you to look into? Nothing yet. I will pass the details along if anything comes up. Right now, there is a more pressing issue. It appears there are students at Shuchin who are being threatened by a criminal organization. Uh. A student who saw your posting came to us looking for help. I'd like to request a countermeasure. Isn't this some sort of mistake? I can't believe this would happen to the students of our academy. Dude, you literally no, just no had somebody sexually harassing your students. There is still lingering concern regarding the Phantom Thieves. But we received a request for help. I'm rather busy at the moment. If you wish to do something, you will need to act on your own. Yo, this dude is a sleep ball. Are you sure about this? I'm still investigating your case as well. Yes, that's correct. It works out perfectly. My intentions have borne fruit. This criminal organization must be the connecting factor. If you pursue this criminal issue, you'll surely find clues about the Phantom Thieves. Absurd. Yo, can I drop that so, cupboard on him? Say this rumor that is trophy true. case? Do you intend to ignore those students in trouble? I... Says the guy who's ignoring the students that's in trouble. easily if she were in your position. My expectations of you are very high. I hope you don't disappoint. <sighs> hey. We're going to the TV station, even though I didn't want to. But the game decided for me why anyway. We recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding, and. Huh. This is interesting. Huh? Oh, then you'd better keep listening, man. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. You broadcast alluring newswomen at night because everybody's at home yes. to see them. are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is Dear edited God. would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear, I'm not gonna pass. Everybody's falling asleep. Okay. What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Hey, asshole. My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there. You wanna be on TV? <laughs> Just walk up to random people, tell them something. You, you wanna be on TV? Bot after all. You got slain on pod after all. <laughs> uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Wow, really? Uh, yeah. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. 
Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. <laughs> I understand. You make stupid hearts up. But please don't cause any trouble, okay? Can't make any well, promises. Then, uh, let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it. This sucks. Oh, grab the cables and tie it around his totally thick skull. We fought valiantly against the cables. And the cables won! <laughs> the cables beat I'm us! So pissed off! Aren't we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit! I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. It sucked for the both of us. Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. But I want to flake I know, so I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? <laughs> Being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. You be a good that boy. Me. We get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place. I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here. It looked delicious. What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. Cool. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. I actually wouldn't mind going to an amusement park on really IRL right now. Courage. Not like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really. You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. Dome My Town. stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. Hey, this guy again. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? For a second, I thought I said peasant boy. Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> Not pleasant boy, peasant boy. I happened to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. Ah, <laughs> where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? Filming? What, you a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. <laughs> huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. Wait, wasn't he the only one that said that pancakes? The cat? You don't get it. It's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow, anyways. Come on, let's get to Dome Town. I'm pretty certain the only one that said something about the pancakes was the cat. In which case, uh, should they be concerned? All right. and get cake instead so we're just going to ignore the fact that he just said something about pancakes and no one else talked about it except for the cat mm -hmm. like, no one should be able to hear puke oh for real my stomach's churning this is why i spoke against it mm -hmm. dude it's not fair <sighs> using your cathood as an excuse only at times like this Anyway, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? Let's go home. 
We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. Mr. Akechi's coming on! Ah, it's Akechi! Oh, he's so cool! Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, okay. six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest ever. meet and greet segment of our show. Might as well just say After one, his zero, last appearance or was ten, so well zero. received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Goro Akechi. <laughs> Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, Detective? Ah, oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi-kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these disoriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but I've always wondered what would happen if somebody actually caught Santa real, in their house. I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. First, Please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Of course they do. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Right. Let's try asking this student Why? here. Why? Hypothetically Why speaking, must he pick what on are me? your thoughts on these phantom thieves if they were real? They do more than the cop. <laughs> this completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kechikun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? What would you think? Ah, throwing the question back at me. Well, this is my opinion on the topic. Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh. Please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, 
I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kinda seemed like what he was saying might be right. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's you. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do as the adults say. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. That's why I believe, if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's all right with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. Hey, uh, by the way, you catch you. Uh, I'm the leader of the Phantom Thieves, so, uh, <laughs> Kidding, yeah. Of course. I'm gonna steal your heart, too. you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. I am that it shall with the birth of the Justice yep, Persona. Yep, finally got the Justice Persona. I have the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Catchy Goro. <coughs> ah, yes. <coughs> we should exchange contact info. And registered. Well, I hope to see you again sometime soon. The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, Try hanging out with him. Boy, I've been trying to get to this next palace forever. Uh, wait, was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. I'm just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. When Ryuji opens his mouth, I get annoyed. I just don't know why. It's just like whenever he talks, I just want to punch him in the gut. <laughs> Is that bad?
We're helping people. I guess I can't really think of it any other way. Hmm. I believe our best path forward is sticking to our justice, not that of the law. Shouldn't that be enough? And with the unanimous decision rule in place, but that will lose our way. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for bringing that up. And don't worry, I'm not thinking about quitting the Phantom Dues or anything. That Detective Akechi seems to have a lot of influence on the media. It'd be dangerous to get too close to him, but he may actually prove useful in some situations. Still got more? Why is he, of all people, getting angry about this? Anyway, he means the survey on the fan site, right? I guess we should look forward to it. Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Or some kind of threat? Dude, are you what still going on with with that? about this? If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Ow! You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. But you're just be more blatantly telling them whisper. that you're the Phantom Thief. I hate Ryuji so much at times, hey, man. Like, you really dude just doesn't know how to shut up. you and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Sorry. Just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But... What about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? We said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then, how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They gotta be more dependable than... some people I know. <laughs> Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah. It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Well, at least it's nice to see that she's regretting it somewhat. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. You are not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's, I mean, aunt's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. 
I hope it's to your parents' like. <laughs> what? There's no way that's gonna happen. He's just gonna push himself into the his impossible. house. You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? <laughs> just... It's way too small. Plus, my mom had never agreed to it. Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. What? So sorry to cause you. Trouble. I get no By word way, or say in any of this. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a food. It'll time. be up to you to convince the chief. Oh lord! <laughs> he elbowed the cat. He's a bitch. That noise up. What a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. Can't say I hate it though. People refer to that as retro. Mm. Who are they? Hello. A girl too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really, he's been great. Huh. Sit down. This rent will be on the house. You're helping, though. <laughs> wow. It's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, oh give me a taste. punishment <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either these are your friends yeah go on and take them up to your room no need to stay down here oh I want to see it's only an attic oh man nah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for the drink up these stairs oh and uh thanks for the soda So you're, uh... On. On Takamaki. Anchan, huh? It's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have, either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee! Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Sweet girl. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What? <laughs> well, <clears throat> sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! <laughs> <laughs> Keep it down. Is that the only time he didn't Don't curse? Don't anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. 
It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? <coughs> well, there probably are a lot of famous targets on TV. Ooh, excuse me. Like oh, my massive reflux. Suspects on the news are good. already being pursued by the Ooh. police. Excuse Even me, if we make them confess their crimes, the police will take the credit. That won't do. Damn it. Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. What the? <laughs> what Sorry. the? I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... How about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. <laughs> I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? Okay, hot pot it is! Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. Sounds good to me. I can use some food. Things are sound lively. Even the music is live. you're all having hot pot for dinner. Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name was Ahn, right? She's a nice girl. <laughs> Don't be mean. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Hmm. Where did I put that pot? Yeah, try looking around. Earthenware ah, vessel. You found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip. So I'll leave you be. Thank you, sir. I'll be down here for a while, though. Just be careful with the fire, okay? Okay. Cup of hot pot and dinner. Now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. Wait, are they related? His last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. Wait, I didn't know they were related. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland, but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? 
It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Too bad our school is not letting me do that. A prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. <clears throat> If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Root for the phantom thieves? Oh, I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some... <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. <laughs> What's wrong, Yusuke? There's a get out of here! We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. <sighs> She's asleep already? And it'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. <laughs> I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... <clears throat> Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh! It's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. And this man 
got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were- That story gets on my nerves, too. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. No! Nope. They're only looking out for their best interests. Can we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. Not the point, Kat. taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Hmm. <laughs> similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. Is that a good thing? Wouldn't you rather we'll have a not troubled that. past? I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating Mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. That sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. Because he's a kid. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now's a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. Miss Older Dude Charmer. What kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. No, good night Damn to everybody it. else. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. And if Morgana really is a human, watch it turn back to look at bathtubs really are the best. Han's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. 
I'm sure he'll stop eventually. He's still trying to get up. You know, I've been wondering for a while now. But what do you think about Odd? As a girl, I mean. She's breathtaking. Oh, you straight up said it. Well, in her case, her looks totally make up for her overbearing personality. I'll be sure to share what you've said with Ahn. Oh, please don't. Seriously? <laughs> that aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. The dude is still turning that water up, the hot water up. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for yeah, us. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop we that old dude. strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? <laughs> I was an idiot for asking. But I'm on offense duty, you know? And Morgana specializes in stuff about that world, so... Hmm... Mm. Still... Hot. How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. Dude, it's still turning it up, though! I found some grilled fish in miso soup. Oh no, we're getting taken back to the velvet room. Do here because all day. Has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? They seem to have influenced you. <laughs> These picaresque dissidents of society, deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your new found growth. There's literally Consider nobody else in this prison. A gift. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. And I guess his will grow every, basically every story we complete. Oh, I can hold 10% of that. Right. It's almost time. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, we're almost 19%. Oh, we are 19% now. Cool. You're Sai-san's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after <clears throat> all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You the criticize the that. Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rivals. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So you're just the good girl type of pushover. Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. The 
good girl type Why of push-up. Why get on my case? It's such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot, too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. Oh, that's all. Okay. You know how it is. Sympathy makes you do stupid things sometimes. Your art instructor, um, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too, besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably human. get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. After you answer the question, just like, okay, we get tired of listening to them blah, blah, blah. Oh, good. Oh, you good. haven't gone home yet. Oh, okay, she's gonna talk to me. Sweet. Niji Misan's looking for you. Could you head to the student council room right away? That would she be says Makoto, right? No report of a lost item, so she wants you to start filling out some paperwork. I don't understand. But telling me that isn't going to get you out of this. The student council room is on the third floor, next to the library. <laughs> Got it? Tell me that isn't going to get you out of this. Why am I running errands for a student? I know she's the principal's favorite or whatever. Nijima's the girl who keeps following you around, right? What could she want? She's the one causing me all the problems. Ah. Earlier than expected. Have a seat. She reminds me, I need to move his camera. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashita and Madarame. I might actually turn the, the camera off Phantom Thieves for today. Thieves? Just so, so the whole screen is Can't answer free. that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Yeah, I figured it would have Ryuji. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we it's keep doing Ryuji. this, right? What could all this mean? We screwed up. Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? Not sure what you mean. You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. You'll tell me, won't you? No. Let me think about it. I believe that time would just be wasted. Hey, where you at? Taking a leak? <laughs> Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves. Why does he always do this? That idiot! 
Always! I hate for Yuji. Always. But his timing's perfect. I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Won't you take me to your friends? I guess it can't be helped now. <laughs> I hate Ryuji so much. Why does he always ruin life for everybody? Oh. Hmm? Here? Is that girl a friend of yours? What the, what the hell? He recorded your loud dumbassness. I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto. On to Kamaki. And you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame. I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame, while those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. How could that not raise suspicions? What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. Uh, I... I know. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Who? Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible. However, I cannot tell you that just Oh, come on! Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. I just thought like we have a choice. You have us on video recording, and then Ryuji decides he's going to bad time his call and scream flipping Phantom Thieves all over the place again. He's like the worst person to ever you have in careless. any group. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? Why are you singling me out? On got recorded too, you know? I'm so sorry. Hey, what should we do? That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. And even with that, there's no way they could prove our methods. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation, after all. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. Woo! I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then... We have no other choice but to go along with it. Nope. Yes. We don't. It's best we agree, at least for the time being. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yeah. And yeah. make sure duct tape yeah. Ryuji's mouth. So. Like super duct tape, with soundproofing on it. All right. We're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow. Yeah. What about me? I could always sneak in if necessary. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. What could she be scheming? He should transfer to our school. She just so randomly... Popped up right next to me. I was thinking you might not show. So we who's thought about it. Want us to change? A mafia boss. Mafia? What are you talking about? That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. Fishing Worse. Thing. Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately <coughs> destroy your life. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's their boss's name? Nobody knows. 
The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? Finally, we got to our next be able to person. Off, if you're really the righteous phantom thieves, or is a Kachikun correct when he says you act without justice? Can't you say something witty back at her? <laughs> something witty. Give us the details. Why are you being so serious? Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. Wow. That's all the information I have. Hey, Smomis, thank you for the host. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, How's it going, my friend? For awesome anybody joining me from Ace Moment Streams, how's it going? How's it going? I hope you all I having a good Wednesday. I hope you're feeling good. On my end, it's really nice it's outside, really so... Hand in that exchange. Uh, if you could, if you can, I'd suggest going taking a down. step outside for There's a minute, just, just get, uh, get some of that fresh air. But don't stay too long, and if you do, escape. make sure you're careful, because, you know, pandemic and all that. How's your day going so far, man? You're actually ahead of me story-wise? Really? Because I feel like I've been playing forever! <laughs> like a whole eight-hour stream yesterday of intermission. Just about. Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? You seem, you seem upset. I'm not... Why would Makoto... Yo, Sai? She is gorgeous. I just want everybody to know this, chat. She is no gorgeous. Your duplicity. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide. You have over 38 hours? I need to check mine. <sighs> I'm so mad. The Mafia. Hmm. Why are you mad? Can we really do this? If you and Ryuji know how to shut your mouth and stop talking so flipping loud in the open, then you and me in this problem, but no. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We are in huge trouble. Why? Just do it. punished an evil man who seemed to be good. The public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for. Oh, right. That might make people believe in us. Just got to the third palace? I get it. Yeah, but I was like, I finished the boss, the second palace these. boss, yes, at the beginning of the stream, about an hour and a half, because I game over the one time, because uh, I misplayed um, heavily. I didn't realize that uh, there were, I used a spell, an uh, AOE spell, multi-target spell, and... I didn't account for an extra target that would reflect the spell back at me. And it just destroyed Joker. From it, it like a, a little over, almost 200 damage. And he just destroyed me. I was like, oh, no. So <laughs> I had to redo it again. I was like, god oh, dang it. Um, and then just intermission time. I only just now quote unquote got my target. Let's prove our justice. Hell yeah! We just yeah, and so it was sad because the the boss was one hit from death. I was like, okay, we're good. We're gonna kill him. But I wanted to make sure I thinned out the numbers of his fakes because I didn't want to, you know, get hit randomly. All right. Because they were knocking me down and hit and whatnot, and I just screwed up. I was like, man. Figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right, Come let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. Yo, Ryuji's eyes just creep me we'll out. Like, I tomorrow, right? don't know why, don't but worry. his face sure just, we'll it creeps me out when it's on the uh, overworld. Like, just staring at him Could like the way Akechi, not Akechi Yusuke is right now. Just looking at Ryuji standing like that, it's just creepy as heck. Well, it's... I had a yearning to see the Sayuri, so if you're heading homeward, I'll accompany you. Cool. Uh, I just realized, I don't think I've ever increased my status rank with, uh, Yusuke. <sighs> the Sayuri. Within four it hours? To... I'm glad I chose to leave it here. Good luck, man. I feel like it takes me forever. 
Uh, but then again, I'd be running around making sure I open up all minutes. chests and everything. What are you talking about? To put it bluntly, I am in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. Sounds good, sounds good. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, each of those struggles did eventually fade. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation, but the free time to fill out the relationship. Yeah. yeah, the worse it becomes, it seems I'm trapped in what we in the art world call a slump. I'm planning on romancing uh, attending Kose on an art scholarship. The, uh, the new Since redhead girl, I forgot her name. In this charity, I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible, were I to lose my scholarship. I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. I wanted nothing more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayori in my own work. Yet, what reason do I have My choices for romancing was either between the new redhead the girl or the doctor, if possible, because I love her style. And the but I like the, go the gothic style, so. Of mine, to be honest. I am unsure as to whether I can even Plus her attitude. myself an artist anymore. <laughs> Level seven at the moment. I think mine's only like level four. I think. I have to double check it. You're so tough on yourself. My apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. But I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I'm so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a sin of sorts. No, oh, I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. I feel you, man. I feel you. Just look at the Sayori. Her incandescent figure. Alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that, you ask? It is surely because the painter behind I was getting the ready to say, all right, Sasuke's cousin, I'm gonna need you to calm yourself right. down. If my estimations are correct, Sasuke's cousin Yusuke. Is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What then is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. <sighs> to be perfectly frank, though, I am unsure of how to do so. Would you be able to provide me assistance? You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. If you say so. You would? <laughs> Wonderful. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice back into drastic Soul Calibur changes 6. in my work. Uh, I want to play... Uh... How marine. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. I must go now. My curfew approaches. I look forward to speaking. That about being this said, Jita's coming out for Bla um, Grand Blue, so <laughs> I want to play that too. The beat comes out at night. Ninja the beat Lord, comes out at night. Here? Apparently, the damage done by this so-called mafia has even reached our student body. I hate this guy, by the way. Well, Severely. I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke. Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes. I've even received inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? Because you're... Jerk that no one loves. I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy. If it were to be discovered. Is it? Because I'm pretty certain a teacher that's raping council. or, you know, sexually molesting it? kids and I'm abusing them the best I can. is uh, probably the worst that you could you? get. You must do something outside of killing. 
You're the only one who is reliable around here. Don't let me down. <laughs> From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at this school. Well, do you, you don't understand? do anything. You just sit I there do. and tell her Please, to do everything. Just give me a little more time. You make her do all the work while you sit there and just... Rainy season. Ida, Ida, Ida. This oh. This is why I hate rainy season. I was like, who the heck is Ida? Oh, wow. We have 13 days so before we report it to really the police. This is the right least now. amount of Can time you, you get. This easy part-time job? I'm sure you know about it, Ida Kuhn. Please. <sighs> she don't need my help. A girl like you could probably get a job anywhere, right? Huh? Um, now that you mention it, yes. So, um, what I mean She's is... She's so bad at this. This is going south fast. She's so bad. Oh, Francois. She's so hot, but so bad at everything. My cat, Francois, got run over by a car and also has an incurable illness. I need money fast. Oh. It's not convincing at all. Is she talking about me? Francois were to die, I think I'd die too. Probably. <laughs> Come on, don't talk like that. I should that. mess it up with a probably. If you like it, then tell me about that easy part-time job. You know something, don't you? I've heard the rumors. Rumors? Was it Nishiyama who... Nishiyama? Oh, uh... Hey, what was that about Nishiyama? That's... She actually got the momentum back. She's not acting anymore now, is she? Come on. Her acting Let's skills are so bad. <laughs> Damn it. I don't want to get involved. So I guess I'm leaving now? Do you have a minute? I you're mean, you're looking for something. You're not going right? to give me a choice, are you? I'm going to help you out, so please ask me anything. Nishiyama? He usually hangs out with Ida. Oh, so you want to ask him about Ida? So that's why Takamaki-san was chasing him. I'm sorry, I don't know where he is right now. He usually stays till late, so I think he's probably still somewhere in the school. I'll keep digging around while you're looking for him. Well, I guess we can let him handle this. We'll have to ask someone else about Nishiyama's whereabouts. Can you think of anyone who might know? The student body president? Oh, wait, no. I know who it. This chick. Is President Nijima keeping an eye on you? The student council's on edge. Hurry up. Do you have anything you want to ask about? Nishiyama. Nishiyama kun, are you looking for him? He's a really serious student with great grades. I always see him at the library after school. The library's just up on the floor above this one. Why don't you go talk to him? Sweet. That actually works out because I need to turn this book back in so I can get another book. Uh, so, yeah, going to the library. Perfect timing. I love when they actually try to work with me in this game. So first things first is we... I don't want to sit down and read. I want to flipping turn my book back, jerk. You know what, Morgana? I hate you. Morgana, you, you get in the way of everything. Nishiyama, that's me. You're that transfer student, right? You need something? Drugs. I need all the drugs. Give them to me. Job? Uh, are you talking about that one time? I, I, I don't know. I said I didn't want to do it. That's something Ida... Wait. Are you doing something, Em? He's been acting really strange lately. Oh, what do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in something shady? I want all the Krispy Kreme donuts you got on hand, sir. One day, the two of us went to Shibuya, and a man approached us over near Central Street. He asked if we were interested in an easy part-time job. I said I wasn't, but Ida was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. What was this job? I don't know. I was so scared, I ended up going home alone. But according to Ida, it only takes 10 minutes, and is good for people who don't stand out. 
Edith started spending a lot of money. That's when his strange behavior began too. Uh oh. If that's all I know. That's enough, right? No. A man on Central Street, huh? Guess I'm going to Central Street. Suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes. Have you found out anything, Broshi? I've tried looking into this high part, high-paying part-time job myself. People seem to be talking about it here as well. Supposedly, a man will, walk, uh, will talk to you in broad daylight over on Central Street, and your job is to deliver a small envelope he hands you. Well, I will contact you again if I learn anything more. So that means this part-time job is somehow crime-related. It takes ten minutes, is good for people who don't stand out, and involves a small envelope. Does that ring any bells? It's something the Mafia would definitely be up to. Told you it was drugs. See, I'm smart. The legal drugs? Maybe they made Ida smuggle drugs for them. That definitely fits with a small envelope. And you can get arrested just for possession. Did you meet Nishiyama? Well, I looked into Ida on my own, um, anyway. Rumor has it he got involved in some kind of suspicious part-time job, and that job's apparently totally insane. Something about trafficking drugs, I think? Here they ask you to take part in it down on Central Street, in broad daylight even. So he is smuggling. This won't be pretty. Come on, let's go back to Lady On. We'll ask Ida directly. Let's go back to Lady Silly Butt. <sighs> Come on, I just want to change my book. Ah, Cat, you get in the way. I thought you said you're gonna go hang out with Lady On in her bag. Give me alone. I like how you can phase right through people in this game. Like this cat never lets me do anything. Please tell me about the job, or else my beloved Francois. Oh, you're I'm still doing that? All right, take over. She's boy. back on Francois. Tell us the truth. Uh, come on, you two. I already told you I don't know. She did? The bastard! Damn it! The bastard! Shit. Well, if you already know about it, fine. I don't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. You have a lot of pings now. That. What that? What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. Yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? What are you getting at? Was it in the mouth? Are you a pizza smuggler, sir? I would really like to know this. I would really, really like to know if you're smuggling pizzas, please. Um, and if you are, could you, uh, could you give me a meat lover's pizza, please? I would love a meat lover's pizza. Uh, no pineapples or anchovies, please. Those are terrible. Don't put those on pizza. What's wrong with you? How do you... I've only told one person about that. All people. I can't believe you were the Aww, one Oh, so you're a drug smuggler? Not a pizza right. smuggler? What's it's wrong with you? Job Smuggle pizza! Smuggling drugs. All they had uh, to do was put envelopes into wrong with this kid, man? And they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? <laughs> Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? Never. I see. Well, even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? Can I go? Well then. That's right. I'll take your advice and go to Central Street. But when I come back, you better have my pizza smuggled in, okay? Not playing with you, sir. He think I'm joking. I really want that pizza. It went perfectly, I think. More importantly, where you have to find anything, Roshi. It's drugs. 
So they ask you to deliver drugs. That's serious. I just searched for Shibuya drugs and got tons of hits too. So they're making people traffic drugs and threatening them. That must be what I heard people talking about in Shibuya. They seem to be going about this quite openly during the daytime. What bold methodology. I would have imagined they would do it at night. I wonder why they ch chose the day. They go for high schoolers. I see. Yes, more students will be out during the day, while the police will be more cautious at night. Ryuji, you're over in Shibuya now, right? Uh, do you see anyone like that there? Yeah, I'm in Central Street. It's tough to tell, though. I mean, there are just way too many people. The goddamn rain's not helping out either. The sun will be setting soon. What should we do, Boshi? Let's do this tomorrow. Yeah, that seems like our only choice now. We can split up and search separately then. In any case... Uh, we have some new intel. Let us call that progress for today. Whoever asks us to take on that job should know who their boss is, too. Alright, I'll get in touch with you guys later tonight, and we can come up with a plan. Chat, I'm sorry to tell you guys this, but I did not get that pizza smuggled in after all. Um, he said he was unable to get me that meat lover's pizza smuggled in, um... He said uh, the police were keeping an eye on him, so uh, yeah, no, no, no pizza, unfortunately. But you know, we we did get some intel at least, so I suppose we still win. Guess I'll have to call Papa John's myself. Do 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 do. Okay, we're all here. There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. They must be targeting them somehow. Imagine the specifics may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. Right. We're gonna grab them by the tail. You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Sweet. Let's get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. So once again, I'm gonna do all the work, and they're gonna be standing around, well, making noise, and Just possibly getting us caught. We might end up running into the Mafia. Be ready for anything. Okay. Uh... Personas. Oh, yeah. Wait, no. Did I teach her the ability? Oh, no. I can use my item to teach a fray. Let's teach her to Amino Uzume. I do. Allows you to learn the passive skill counter. What does counter even do? I feel like I want to teach it to Neko Motaba. Wait, I have a Makami? Why do I have a not a Makami? I gotta get rid of that dude. Uh let's teach it to her. Apt pupil allows you to learn the passive skill apt pupil. What does apt pupil do though? Increases chance to critical strike. Ooh. Why not? A uh, blank card. I assume that erases something, but I guess not. Light side damage. Dekunda. I'll give her side too. Why not? Okay, uh What is she doing here? I swear she's a creep. Hello. Hey, are you are you investigating here with your friends today? I hope something comes out of it. I'll be counting on you. Mm. Is she following us? Nah, they can't be. I mean I wouldn't put it behind I'm um, past her. She followed me a lot lately. Aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? I wouldn't do it. Hey, what about you? 
These are unforgettable deals. I'm not interested. Oh, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. Come on, the shop's right around here. How about you come take a look? Don't do it. Seems like it's a trip. Sale. You probably shouldn't bother. Hmm? I guess I can't go to the airsoft store. And it looks like the velvet room isn't here either. I figured they wouldn't let me. It was worth a try, right? I, re I just realized I, n I haven't uh, done the thing yet where I increase my, you know, weapons and upgrade everything and whatnot. Did I go the wrong way then? Find the homeless man. Which I did. Uh, I guess there's another homeless man? Hmm? Friends are- oh, okay, so I can actually leave this area and go to the station. Okay, I want to double check and make sure that I was cleared to leave this area. Miss President here. Mrs. President's here. I walked past her at the station. Is she, is she keeping an eye on us? Maybe. I guess she's curious about all of this. Well, let's just ignore her. She's not getting in our way. And more importantly, how things are on you guys in? Nothing so far. I'm going to try to try stalking or staking out the underground walkway. Then I'll check around the Inogami line. I guess I'll get there from the underground. I will gather some more intel in the underground shopping mall as well. Please continue on your end, Broshi. Everyone's really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves. We can't fall behind either. Let's look for that homeless man. She is really literally right there. Oh. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me, chat. Ooh, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> There's a homeless guy out where we supposed to meet. I wonder how they choose or how they decide on uniforms for schools. Like, there's so many schools and I assume they all have different uniforms, right? Do I want to go to the Ginza Leiden Gate? Dear God, it looks like a smoky death trap up in there, man. I guess I'm going underground then, huh? with that scary look on your face. If you have something to say to me, just say it. I want a part-time job. Part-time job? You're not talking about some ordinary job, huh? Take my advice. Don't do it. They'll squeeze every last penny out of you with threats and extortion. Some of my friends have fallen victim of the schemes. That mafia is evil, I tell you. How do I meet them? They'll come um, to you eventually if you walk around this area. Just, But just so you know um, who to avoid, I'll teach you how to tell them apart from normal people. They use some weird phrases, code words, you know? That's how they communicate with each other. Anyway, watch out if you hear any of that stuff. They'll try to come for you, even during the day. They're relentless when it comes to targeting teens. How's it going? Have you found anything? Maybe a little. 
Ah, so you've grabbed something already. That's to be expected of someone like you, Broshi. Uh, why don't we just go over the intel we've gathered so far? I'll start. Suppose there's some kind near the access way talking about some kind of strong drugs. I'm not counting out on anything, but I'll go check it out. As for me, I heard about someone soliciting a high-paying job in the station plaza. Apparently, there's mo they're mostly targeting girls. I'll go see what it's about. On my end, I've heard there are people saying strange things in the back alley near the arcade. Ooh, me. Something about ice and vegetables, and something about snow tomorrow. I'll go observe just in case. The arcade is on Central Street, correct? All right. We should do what we can to help them out. That last one was a little weird. Leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious sounding place. Well, he told me if I just walk around, it'll just randomly show up. Head to the Tech U building, head to the station square, head to the back alley. Uh, let's try the back alley, because back alleys usually seem the most suspicious. <laughs> he doesn't know where the arcade is, and he's ruining everything! Um, if I remember correctly, the arcade was... Here. So it said behind the arcade, which means it'd be where the airsoft store is, right? Man. Boom, boom, boom. There's no time for detours. There's always time for detours. What are you talking about? Hey. Do we not? I feel like we do. Oh, that makes sense. Hello. Hello. Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? Toshi was talking to me. That's good to hear. Hey. You two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. It Suspiciously seems sleazy guy. Work very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Hmm. By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? Huh. You're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. She's making this and ruining it for What's this. What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? Violence is not the answer. Oh. It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. You really gonna say that knowing who he is? <laughs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. <laughs> you really gonna say that knowing who he is? I'm pretty sure he's part of the mafia we're looking for. You ruined everything! I think we should get some proof before we do that. I tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. Traps? Anyway, you kind of made it obvious you knew who he was and what he was about. I'm going to go now. But that's just me. That boss seems tricky. And it looks like he taught his subordinates well, too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. So, uh, increase my gut stat then, Ch um, Katie Cat? How about it? Wanna meet up? Let's do it. Ah. 
So I spent a lot of time running around. Do I get to at least do... It's an unknown number. Stuff for people. Hello, this is Nijima. Makoto Nijima. Thanks for earlier. How'd you get my number? I should have said, what do you want? The fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so that's all. Bye. Katie. You talking to a woman? I heard her voice. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She cool. seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That Nijima sure is thorough. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. Nah, just... Oh, it's... Friday! So but my what murky weather we're having. Speaking of murky... There haven't been any new developments Yo, in the Phantom Thief. Akechi has the Avengers so briefcase. You see that? He has the Avengers briefcase. I doubt Madarame's case will be the Yo, last. Yo, let's steal it. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? A criminal, I would think. The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. If you hear any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. Sure, but it's gonna cost you your Avengers briefcase. Cool, cool. Ah, oh, for real? We didn't get anything. Oh, we're in a karaoke bar. God, they suck. <laughs> they were going nowhere with God, us. they hey, suck. Can't we ask Miss President to change it up? You mean change our target? Just gotta show her justice to satisfy her, right? There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. No, you fool. But that mafia is stealing money from kids. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. On's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? Yeah, Yuji. Stop being a wuss. They really have no talent. They really have never no thought problem. it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. Anyways, I'm sure we'll shut a catchy up if we pull this off, but that's exactly why we should do it. It uh, all comes down to anything. It's like screaming it. harpies in the background. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. That's right. What about that journalist? You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah. I completely forgot about her. You and the rest of the world. Didn't she give you her card? This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? There's no other way. Okay. Let's contact her. No talking from you, though. Your acting is terrible. Oh, yes. Thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah? Eh, come on. Let's just go. <gasps> How wasteful. <laughs> uh, what? Anyways. <laughs> we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Let us know ASAP what she responds. Got it? It's Saturday! And they gotta go to school. <laughs> 
All right, you did that reporter. Um, yo, did that reporter get in touch with you yet? I only just emailed her the other day. Why are you so hasty? I don't know. I've been looking for our info, but I can't find a damn thing. We only got two weeks left, man. Duh, we're in a hurry. To be more precise, it's ten days. We ain't gonna have much time, even if we start right after she responds. Looks like this battle will have to be a quick one then. We must also consider what um, we do in case she fails to respond entirely. Hey, don't jinx this. I am merely discussing all the possible outcomes. Ain't you nervous about this? Nervousness will help us. Uh, will not help us solve anything at this point. Were that the solution to our problem, I would be much quicker to turn to panic. Wow, he's like some kind of philosopher. I think he's just an idiot. I love how Ryuji tried to call somebody an idiot, considering he's like the biggest idiot. Ichima senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me too. Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I, I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? Everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. That is not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Here, here. Please. Please hurry. And protect them we shall. 